getting interesting all the time. I uh, am amazed at how things change. And people in the old days were very resistant to change. They didn't like it. It was something that was very uncomfortable. And because of that, sometimes they resisted either advancement in science or knowledge or technology. And to a certain degree, that can be good to have a skepticism about the cost of technology. Because even today, we look at things that are developed and we say, well, what's it cost in the long run? Like in our economy, if we borrow against something, when do we pay the piper, so to speak? If we reap, if we sow something, who's going to reap that harvest? So a lot of times, some of the things that have changed has been looking away from those things that are tried and true that have been a fact and proven as a fact for centuries, like the Bible. Just recently, it was interesting was that in science, they came up with this whole new neutrino idea that because of a super accelerator, somebody accelerated these neutrinos at such a high speed that they went faster than light. And the old theory of physics proposed, which is a theory by Einstein, was that you couldn't do that. It wouldn't, wouldn't happen. It wouldn't go faster than light. And so there was a great hubbub about, oh, wow, Einstein's been proven wrong. And everybody got all excited for a day or two. Then they began to look at, well, wait a minute, if we're going to prove that something's wrong, then maybe we better re-examine the proof of what we think now is right. So once they went back and looked at the evidence, they started examining where the starting point was by global positioning satellite, and where the ending point was by global positioning satellite, and they found they were off by a distance that made it sub-light, not faster than light. Don't be surprised if sometimes new things come along that wind up challenging the old ways or the old things. But the reality is, is that you can trust in the Lord and his word because it endures forever. So anytime that like this pastor I used to sit under when I was studying, used to tell me if it's new, it's probably wrong. <laughs> and if it's prophecy, it really is probably wrong. <laughs> And whenever they try to tell you, like, the rapture or something is a new teaching, that's not a new teaching. <laughs> if you go back in Jewish eschatology, you can even find it among Jews. So, I'm sorry, you know. No, it's not a new teaching. It's not a new idea. But the point being is that whenever change happens, we have an opportunity either to look at it, to examine it for what we can get a benefit out of, or to... You know, maybe be too resistant and fighting against it and maybe make ourselves look a little foolish. I know today with my schedule, I wanted to record all these videos and discover what this high def kind of format would be like. And unfortunately, there was a lot of work going on, which would contradict me able to record outside. So I had a choice. Would I react in a negative way or would I react in a positive way? Neither. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I went and did something else. <laughs> I made a window box, you know, and made some planters, you know, and enjoyed the time that I had to do something else. Because God will interrupt your plans at times so that he can bring something better along. And as I did those things that he wanted me to, which was when I got a chance to take a bath, read this book that I really enjoy doing, and made some platter boxes, I got a chance to reflect on some of what was going on in the world as well as on the internet. And I saw how easily we are so provoked nowadays into making wrong reactions as opposed to right actions. Just think of it that way. Think of reactions as being wrong, but actions as being right. In other words, when you sit down to make an action, you consider what the cost is. You consider what you want to do and how you're going to get there. And then you pray about it and you give it to the God, our God, the God who says that 
the direction of a man's heart, but his footsteps are ordered of the Lord. So when you lay out your plans, just recognize that you may be going in a direction, but God may order your footsteps to stop for a few minutes, maybe a few hours. Who knows? Maybe a few days, even a week when we got this new camera. And in the end, he will come back with something better than what you were using in the first place, or you were doing. And for me today, that's the way I see it. How do we act when something interrupts our day or challenges us in a personal way? How do people act about the way we react to them? God forbid, oops, know the surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. They shall afflict them 400 years, and afterward they shall come out with great substance. From Genesis 15, 13 through 14. An assured part of God's pledged blessing to us is delay and suffering. A delay in Abram's own lifetime that seemed to put God's pledge beyond fulfillment was followed by seemingly unendurable delay of Abram's descendants. But it was only a delay that came out with great substance. The pledge was redeemed. God is going to test me with delays, and with the delays will come sufferings. But through it all stands God's pledge, his new covenant with me in Christ, and his inviolable promise of every lesser blessing that I need in order to accomplish that which he promised me. The delay and the suffering are part of the promised blessing. Let me praise him for them today, and not let me wait on the Lord and be of sorrow countenance or frustrated, but rather be of good courage. So he shall strengthen my heart. For the attitude of a man's heart is his own, but he can change and allow the Holy Spirit to direct his heart in the way that it should go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. A lot of times you're going to find that you won't know why or what or even how to do what you're doing. But what you think you're there for may be one reason he got you there, but what's really being accomplished around you for his purposes is greater than you ever had any idea or imagined that it would be. So don't be surprised if your day gets interrupted like mine was.